All right, guys, no intro, so we're just gonna do this one right off the rip. Go down, like, comment, subscribe, as always. But I've got the valve stem seals all done on the motor. Yes, my hood sits up like that because it is a Honda Civic and I can work on my car and pull the motor out without having to touch my fucking hood. But shit happens. But got the bumper all fixed, valve stems are done, all this stuff is all back together. Had a hell of a time with the stems. I broke a screwdriver off in one of the spark plug holes while bringing a piston up to tell me when it was up far enough that way I didn't drop a valve. Ended up having to fish it out through the, one of the intake ports. Uh, I don't even know what the fucking piece is, but uh, yeah. Everything up here is done, all set, ready to go. Uh, Move the exhaust forward. Now it doesn't touch the tire or anything when you turn, so everything is perfect. Don't worry about the hood at all. But uh, back here, got a bunch of weight out of the car. Shit ton of weight out of the car. I think we have close to, or if not, 150 pounds or so out of the car so far. With door panels, heater core, stock gas tank, bunch of ducting and bullshit. And uh, as you can see, got the fuel cell here. This is an eBay special right here. It's a 10 gallon fuel cell. Uh, it's got dash 10 ports on it. So I'm gonna do a dash 10 to dash eight. And then I'm gonna do a 90. Then I have my fuel pump and my fuel filter right here. Got an AEM 400 pump. Uh, just gotta finish up the line. I'm just waiting for the uh, fitting for here for 10 to eight. And then I have the 90, and I'm waiting for a coupler for 8 to 8 for fuel pump to filter. Other than that, I'm going to put a breather on here, or I'll just cap that one off. And this one, because I'm not going to run a uh, return on this car. I may later run down the road, but I don't really need a return right now. We were deadheading the uh, last setup with the stock tank setup, so I'm not really worried about that at all. But just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick little rundown on what we've gotten done. And, you know... Everything is just as it was in the last few videos. Took a bunch of weight out of the car. I'm gonna weigh that seat right now and uh, give you guys a final total of weight that I've taken out of the car. But I'm just really excited, really happy that we got everything done. We will be taking this car back to the dyno and figuring out how much it really makes. So now that these valve stem seals are done on the one side, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that everything works out and we'll make a bunch of power. But just a quick rundown. All right, guys, so as you can see, my AM400 pump, dash eight fitting here, dash eight fitting here, dash eight fitting here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of line from uh, the 90 off of the dash 10 to dash eight on the tank itself. And then I'll run the 90, then I'll run a line over here to where the frame rail is. That's where I'll mount the pump. And then the fuel filter goes right after it with an eight to eight coupler. And uh, after that, I'm going to put a 45 on the other end of this, which I have laying over here somewhere, and a bunch of fittings and shit. So I got a 45 here. Gotta go on that, and then it'll just run with the rest of the line all the way to the front of the car, which is all dash eight now. So pretty simple, pretty easy. I do have to run some wires back here for power, and uh, that's about it. But just to give you guys an, an idea of what I'm doing, so it'll be dash 10 to dash eight adapter. Then we'll have our 90, then We'll have a little bit of line that runs from all over here, all the way over here to where the frame rail is, where I'll mount the pump. That's where the rest of the line will start here. And then from here to here, we'll have a coupler that mounts these two together. And that's about it. But yeah, just give you guys kind of a little, you know, rundown of what I'm doing. Sorry, the trunk is a fucking mess. I got a bunch of shit every fucking where. All right, so you can see it. M10 to dash eight to the eight to eight 45, then dash eight line to the 90, which is eight to eight. Then we got M18 1.52 dash 8 on the AEM 400 pump. Other side is the M12 to 1.5 dash 8 adapter, 8 to 8 coupler, 8 to 8 fuel filter, and then the rest of the line, as I've said before, is all dash 8. Hey guys, so sorry for so many mistakes I had when I was making that clip, but uh, fuel tank's done, lines are ran. Tomorrow I get the other dash 10 to 8, and then I'll run my line for my return all the way to the front and I will uncap the other return line that's on the factory rail, which is right here, which is a quick connect dash to a dash six and a cap. So we'll have a quick connect here to an eight, and then the rest of the line will just follow along with the rest of the system. And then the system will now be a returnless system, or a return system, you know. But on the side note, inside the car, we had a small issue with the fuel pump and this ebay switch panel not working out so uh like we were saying uh small issue with this thing it just doesn't want to stay on i guess the pump is pulling so much voltage 
and uh, I'm going to be switching out this whole thing for a full-size switch panel with everything that has individual uh, fuses and whatnot. And I'll also be moving the kill switch, as you can see the big wire over there, in the car. So I'll be putting a new switch panel here, moving some of these nitrous buttons around. And uh, probably only the purge and the bottle heater will be moved, maybe down. And then I'll just cut this whole thing out and put the new switch panel here, which will have uh, ignition, starter, uh, obviously coolant, you know, the fans, uh, accessory, and so on and so forth. And then I will put my kill switch right next to it or on this side, one or the other, just so we can make everything easier. And just in case there is ever an accident with the car, the kill switch will be inside the car now instead of out there on the uh, windshield, you know, cowl. Just in case, you know, if anything did happen, someone can be in here, kill the car, meaning me, I can be in here, kill the car right then and there, and not have to worry about anything else. Plus, it'll be really easy to run the power from the kill switch literally directly next to it to the switch panel. So it'll be really simple, really easy. So tomorrow, we will get the uh, line. I will get the switch panel and finish up uh, this whole setup, basically just rewiring the car again just little things man they just they come back to bite in the ass and you know these are just things we deal with so like as we've always known i'm just making the car better and better and better to a point where it just can't get any better honestly i should just put the fucking car on holly at this point but you know we're this far in i just want to get the switch panel done get this return line done get the car back on the dyno make some power and go have some fun in this fucking car I'm tired of it sitting here. We've done so much work, spent so much money and time and effort to not go out and have a lot of fun with this car this year. So I will catch you guys on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for all the background noise. There's a lot of people here today in the shop. But I will catch you guys on the next one.